Hey everyone, I'm Gemma. I am the Director of Product Operations here at Lethos, and I'm here to walk you through how to build your invoices, as well as how to go on to then get those invoices paid through the Lethos platform. So with Lethos, we have embedded payments directly into your invoices to allow you to keep everything all in one place, all under one tab. That way you're not out there using multiple payment platforms, multiple softwares to you know, track both your invoices and your cash flow. So we'll walk through sort of how that's all streamlined and also how to make sure that your clients have a super smooth process on paying their invoices. So if we come over to our invoices tab, we're going to create an invoice. We're gonna select our client and project. So we're gonna create invoice. And then at the top here, you can um, determine who you're going to bill. So you can create a new client contact or if there's already a contact associated with your client that you want to use, you can easily do that. I wanna change the invoice number. I can come up here and say, let's say it's invoice number 15. And so we're adding items from, we're gonna do directly from the scope. So let's say we're doing phase three now. So this is the scope of work that our client has already agreed to, you know, our proposal was signed and we've completed phase three. And we're actually gonna add a custom line item. Let's say we're gonna do, um, maybe we had an extra meeting on the calendar that we didn't initially account for. So this is three hours, we're gonna do hundred dollars review the final product okay so if i had any expenses that i wanted to then add onto this invoice for the client um they would populate over here maybe i purchased a software for this product or for this project that i want the client to pay for you can also go ahead and add discounts and let's say if this is a repeat client i'm going to give them we can either give them a dollar amount or a percentage amount we're going to give them a 10 percent discount if I wanted to pass along any taxes, you could add a percentage here. Let's do five, not 50, 5% taxes. And we've also agreed um, that the client is going to pay for the processing fees. So I'm gonna pass that along to my client. And as you can see at the bottom, I am enabled for card payments and bank transfers because I have applied for a Vithos payments account and that allows my invoices to be paid directly into Vithos. I'm gonna come up here. I can leave a note for my client. So I'm gonna say, please pay via bank transfer. Um, we can see here, you know, we've got the subtotal minus the discount plus the taxes. So this is the total amount that the client will be paying for this invoice. I'm going to do, so this is when the payment is due, let's say upon receipt. So the moment I send this, my invoice will be due to the client. And if I wanted to schedule this out in the future, I can easily do so here, but I'm going to go ahead and send it out today. And so sending the invoice, I can either copy the share link and send it in an email off the platform, or I can just click send now, and this will mail it out or email it out to my client. And you can see here, invoice number 15, invoice sent. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the link just so we can view, this is from the client side. So we can see here, you've got my branding, my business name, um, all of the items that I had included on my invoice during the invoice builder is now visible to the client. So my discount, my taxes, um, plus fees so this is the plus the payment processing fees and i can see my note to please pay via bank transfer so i'm going to go over here bank transfer is selected and then for the client side you know we are integrated with plaid so super simple for your client to just come in here connect their bank account just log in they don't need to worry about their account or routing number they can just use their login credentials and easily access plaid and so super simple you know, username, password, submit, get to this final screen. So, you know, you get one last review saying this amount, this is your bank account, this is the date you're gonna pay it. So as a client, I will say, yes, I agree and pay. And that's it from a client side. My payment is submitted, so I was able to review my invoice and submit the payment all in one place. And so now, you know, there's this little banner up here that says invoice is processing, you know, everything's good to go. As a client, I will receive an email once the payment has cleared. And also flipping back to the user side, if I refresh the screen. You can now see that invoice number 15 is processing. And so this is what my client saw. It's now processing and I as a user will also be notified once my funds are available and I'd be able to see them you know, in my transactions. Um, of course, you know, they're still pending. So that's how you build your invoices, send them off to a client, and also get your clients to pay your invoice through the Wethos platform.